Hi students, in this video we will learn how to calculate super elevation for any road in civil 3D. I will start with basics and you will see that uh, if we have any uh, IFC and there is some requirements related to super elevation then how can we do that also. If you have any alignment in civil 3D uh, then you can will proceed uh, with that otherwise uh, I will just get uh, one alignment just leave them as uh, default and press ok Here we have tangent, tangent no curves and we need curves to calculate our super elevation. Just select tangent, tangent with curves. I am not getting in detail with all of these tools. These are alignment creation tools but yeah. uh, maybe you know already them. That's why you are here to know about super elevation. Tangent, tangent no curves and select like this here okay so is our alignment if you zoom here it's a very large alignment and we have two curves one two here if you zoom something like this and you will see the station and everything now uh, we will calculate our super elevation on this alignment how we can do that select your alignment and from the contextual tab here we have modify panel and super elevation just look at here calculate edit super elevation now we will click on calculate and we get two options calculate super elevation and open the super elevation curve manager for now we will calculate super elevation now uh, we need to define the road type undivided if we have road like this if we have undivided planner then we need to select this one if you will select here we have center baseline because we are going along the center line if uh, we have undivided planner then we will select and you will get something like this pivot method should be central baseline in our case because we are using our central line so high side uh, location left or right you can take if you can select anyone but we will go with undivided ground and then uh, press nest here we have type then pivot method and then uh, number of lanes right how much width of uh, the lane if you have 3 meter for the lane width then you can put if you have 4 meter then you can also put and what will the slope of your lane uh, if it is minus 2 percent then you can uh, see here the preview minus 2 percent if you can um, increase and decrease according to your design you can also do that and just press next and here also outside edge uh, shoulder if you have shoulder of 2 meter 1.5 meter you can also do that and it will also uh, give you to change the value of percentage slope percentage for the shoulder also if you want to match a uh, lane slope or you want to keep default slope then you can also do that for the uh, shoulder low side and high side then press next here we have design criteria that uh, when we design our road we must need to follow the 2011 2018 these are usa designs which we must need to follow so uh, we can select anyone here and uh, move to the next these are ashto design super elevation red table here we have also with four percent six percent and eight percent you can keep according to your design it's not your uh, job 
your designer will tell you that how much is our super elevation red table if you are designer then you must need to know about the uh, percentage of super elevation red then uh, you need to define that if you have two lens uh, transition length table if you have two lens or four lens you can select here under the here uh, you can see here now our ashto 2011 crown road pay is uh, uh, a 10 mid method is selected transition formula for super elevation runoff uh, it's you can leave them as uh, by default if you have any uh, criteria according to your design you can keep or it can be also according to your uh, government uh, institutes or uh, any city is uh, ordinance according to state ordinance if you are working in USA then keep them as it is and just uh, press finish it will calculate your super elevation if you see here zoom on your alignment you will see here the transition in then you have full uh, super elevation in this area and then here we have transition out for this if you see we have curve uh, two curves then under the each curve we have transition in and out here so we have if you will select transition in it will select this area like this each and uh, Turn off it will select transition out it will tell you about this so here we have start station and station of transitions out and transition in and uh, end of super elevation we have also length then we have overlap here we have a uh, very important that we have left outside uh, outside shoulder and left uh, outside length so if you want to change for example in your uh, IFC you have any uh, data related to super elevation that your left side uh, is 2.5 on this station then you can just go here and you can change them 2.5 percent for the outside land then also for the right side outside length so you can change them according to your criteria design this was we calculated according to our ashto design but if uh, you are working in any another project and you want to just change them according to your design or you just want to follow your ifc then you can make changes in the slopes here and uh, once you have cross section with do your alignments then you can see main uh, changes in your cross section that how they change with this slope changes so this is how you can match your uh, ifc drawings to your shop drawing cross sections uh, slopes it's called super elevation uh, tabular editor if uh, we need to show any uh, percentage on any specific station then we can also put here if you hover your cursor on plus sign you can also add a new super elevation critical station to add your new values on that elevation for example I uh, if I want to stop my uh, transition length uh, transition length here and uh, we already stop here but if uh, we want to stop them here and we want to put any specifically uh, percentage of the slope on this station then i can add new station like this and uh, you can write also like this and you can put values uh, on this station So it will recalculate them according to your uh, given criteria for example if you see here we have alignment you can also see your another curve 
here we have also transition in and out for example if we go to the alignment properties and here under the design speed if you change them from 20 then uh, you will press ok and you will see here we have a warning symbol because uh, it's out of date our super elevation is out of date now we must need to calculate them just here and uh, you will see recalculate just recalculate because we apply new speed to our alignment so it should be uh, recalculate and now you can see we have not any warning here so here one more thing we have uh, sometime clients ask uh, to draw a super elevation view so how can we do that create super elevation just click here and just put them as it is here you can just uh, put the range of uh, super elevation uh, for example uh, we just draw for the curve one like uh, if we have <coughs> from here 13 100 and here 13 to 15 okay so just select your alignment and here we have create super elevation view then just leave them as it is and here just put user specified range okay so i just want to take super elevation view on these station between these stations and press ok and with it will ask you to just put like this so this is how you can uh, create super elevation views it will tell you if you can read them then uh, you can see here we have four percent uh, minus four percent for another lane and here we have also warnings which you can eliminate them by adjusting your design and you can also use these grips here according to, uh, as we have in profiles and alignments also we have in super elevation views to play with these super elevation diagrams so this is how you can calculate your super elevation on any road in civil 3d